Hello, bro. Thank you for coming on. I'm just doing my weekly live, which I like to do at 11 a.m. Australian Eaters Standard Time. It is 11.30 at the moment. I'm moving and I've had a few delays on getting on this live. But I'm here. I like to do this weekly live to explain my condition and pretty much what I go through. My rare condition is Pearl Syndrome. The way I can explain it is to you know how a baby walks and talks, communicates and focus and they go forward in learning and everything. I'm actually going backwards and I do not have a timeline on when things happen, they just happen. Uh, what I did today is I wrote a few tips down that I have found when like moving and I'm sure you all have ideas and to, to share away on what, what ideas or information that helps you. So, the tips on moving is, I, it's not a tip, it's just, I have mentioned I've not been as active. Unfortunately, with COVID as well, I haven't been as active. I try to be as active, but I haven't been. So, with this move, I'm glad I'm doing it because it's, making me be more active and get things done as well. When I move uh, just a bit at the moment at the unit, there was at least three people with the ask to help me. I'm like, oh, that's so great. There are a lot of people out there that like that. But if I do need help, I will ask for it. And... I do ask for help with my GoFundMe as well. It was my mistake the last four months. I did not realise it may not be as active as it should be. There's something going on. I have to look more into it, but I'm in a bit of a financial pickle, which I'm trying to get myself out of. I'm doing everything I can, and yeah. Um, so at the moment, I'm just doing uh, small boxes, moving them on my walker, being very careful and not doing too much, because if I do too much, I can just just up pretty much. So the tips I want to mention is declutter. Now I do think there is two different declutterings. Decluttering is uh, something you do as you go on in life in one place. And there's decluttering when you move. When you move, I think there's a lot of things that you can be like, no, I definitely don't need that or I haven't used that for so long. Um, make sure I have our tip notes down. Otherwise, I get off the live and go, oh, I forgot to mention that as well. Uh, so make sure you drink water. At least, you know, if you move, maybe think about having a second water bottle at the place you're going to. Um, make sure you keep your electrolytes up because you will sweat and so you need them. Um, maybe think about scheduling to eat because you know, we all know food is something you need to keep yourself going. And I'm keto, so I have breakfast, and that's pretty much it until dinner. I have no need to have food. 
tape holder and electrolytes. Um, work out what you want to, or work out what you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So in the end, you know what you go for. I'm a flexible eater, so it is hard, but I'm gonna do it because I have no option to do it. <laughs> to not do it. Um, the other thing is call ahead to find, call ahead to get the power put on. I have done this, but because my unit is brand new, it's n I don't know how to explain it besides if you go on Google Earth or anywhere online, you put in the address and it may not come up. It may come up something totally different. I'm like, that's not my address. So there's that issue and to let your internet provider know that you're moving. Um, I had that issue when I moved to this place. I did not realize <laughs> to actually call the internet provider the odd moving. Uh, when you move your fridge, make sure you have a cooler handy. And in this weather, with a lovely heat and rain and steam, the frozen items may not last as long. So I'm actually trying to get down to nothing in my freezer pretty much because I know it won't last as long in this heat. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if there's any tips uh, you'd like to share, it'd be very much appreciated. And I hope you all are having a good day. Just follow kindness.